Okay, so here's the deal. If you guys don't know already, your boy <laughs> William Cortez Robinson, aka Scrap De Leon, is in jail. Now, how do I know this? Because I have his arrest record here. I have his, his prison record or whatever you want to call it. So basically, I'm going to let you guys check it out real quick here. Let's see. Says year of birth, 1988. He's a black male, five foot ten. I didn't know he was that short. What does it say? 165 pounds. I didn't know he was that light. <laughs> uh, brown hair and brown eyes. I thought his hair was black. But anyways, <laughs> it says that now down at the bottom where it says state of Georgia current sentences. It says his offense was trafficking marijuana from between 10 pounds to 2,000 pounds, which is a felony. And you go down a little bit lower past the conviction county and the crime comment date. All the way to sentence length 20 years zero months zero days 20 years Damn. you wouldn't think you wouldn't think that marijuana was being legalized all over the country jesus how the hell did he get 20 years with what he didn't even get 20 years for beating the shit out of his stepdaddy they damn near killed a man they damn near killed a ninja and nobody got 20 years. They were still out and about. It took some weed to do them in. That means, according to the law, a black man's life is worth less than marijuana. <gasps> Can you fucking believe it? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not surprised, Jesus. I'm just acting overly dramatic for comedic effect and to entertain you. But let's be real here for a moment. Scrap and four other guys beat the living shit out of his stepdaddy threw him in the trunk of a car they were allegedly going to bring him to some apartment or something in alabama from from georgia to alabama throw him in some apartment and let him fend for self and if he died it, it, just like on the movie rocky was it the was it the russian boxer said if he dies he dies yeah just like that <laughs> jay-z's lips so here's the deal jesus so you can basically damn near kill a ninja and get little to no jail time. But if you have some weed and that's fucking with the government's money, oops, excuse me, that's messing with <clears throat> other dealers money, then you can just go ahead and take your ass to jail for 20 years away from your children. This is disgusting. We need to fix this. I've never smoked weed in my life, nor have I ever sold weed. Not my thing. I look, at, I look at that as being some dusty behavior. However, <laughs> I tell you what, 20 years for that? He should have served 20 years for when they beat the shit out of that man. 20 years for some weed while it's being legalized in the year 2016. And by the year 2025, for example, it might be legal in all states. Unfreaking believe. And he, he could possibly still be in there. Not released early. He may have to serve out his whole sentence or even more time. What if he kills somebody in there? It's very dangerous in jail. What if somebody tries to rape him or tries to assault him and he has to defend himself? What if that person gets hurt very badly or they die in the process? See what I'm saying? He could be in there for the rest of his damn life. I just hate to see my brother go through this. But there is one thing that I can do to help him. No, not go out there and shout out Black Lives Matter. No. Not send him some Jordans or some cigarettes. There's only one thing that I can do. Take care of Tommy Lee while he's away. Holler at me, Tommy. Slide up in my DMs. Hey, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Hey, am I a helpful guy or what? <laughs> you know, I definitely take care of his woman <laughs> Well, his woman while he's away from the 20 years, Jesus. <laughs> I could do that for you, brother. Meat Magazine.